Welcome back to another video. I know I have a lot of new subscribers here, so for those who are new, and I don't know what y'all were thinking, but I guess y'all wanted to see what the dark side of YouTube looked like. No fancy graphics here, no fancy production values here, or anything like that. I know I sound like a broken record, but hopefully my computer build is finished soon. Um, I have basically everything now ordered, waiting for it to come in. My computer case is back ordered to the second week of October, of course. But hopefully when that gets finished, I can start doing this from my house with some way better production involved to it. So I know I have a lot of new subscribers. So for those who are new, welcome. Last week I did an entropy video and it absolutely blew up. And um, last I checked, it was at 5,000 something views or something like that. And it, it, it is absolutely stupid. 5,600 views, which is my all time high crypto related video. I have one hunting video I put up that actually had 10,000, which I don't know why, because that production value makes this look professional. That's how bad it was with the low light and stuff. But for those of those welcome, you know, before that, I think one of my highest viewed videos was my DFly D scam video showing all the evidence I had about that scam and stuff like that. But I guess after a while, everybody finds out and nobody views it anymore. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, it is an exciting time to be in crypto, deep in passive income. I've been talking about that for a while. I did some videos over the weekend and talked about it. I think we're ramping up whether or not you want to argue with me that bull market starting now, bull market's going to start November, December. I still tend to think we're not going to see big explosions till December to January. We got two more rate cuts coming. We got a presidential election coming. I still think some people are holding off, waiting to see what happens with that. But who knows? You got people saying it's going to start now. You're going to have Bitcoin at $75,000 by the end of the week. And you got some people thinking it's going to correct. So we're going to have to see. So we got a lot of stuff to dig into. For those of y'all who are new, put some coffee on along with some Red Bull, maybe a monster drink. You're going to be here a while. These videos are getting longer and longer. People want me to cover more and more things. I tell people up front. This video is going to be at very least an hour long, if not longer than that. I put chapters in it so y'all can skip around and just see what y'all want to see. You're not hurting my feelings. I understand that. Yes, it doesn't help the ad revenue, but it is what it is. I'm here to help y'all more than I'm here to help anything. But if y'all are new here, don't complain about how long it is. Every time they want me to add some project or me start talking or another project I'm getting involved in, that's making it longer. I have no problem with that. I'll cover whatever y'all want me to cover to a point. But there's just a lot of things going on right now in the crypto world. So let's get to it. Before y'all do anything else, can y'all please just, before y'all get bored and start skipping around the chapters, please hit the thumbs up button for me. That helps out all these projects that I have tagged here that we're going to talk about. And it lets the YouTube algorithm push all those out. So please hit that like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, please. And um, also I have my other channel, The Grumpy Dad Outdoors. It really needs some help. So there's a link for that in the description below. Please go give it a like. It's got like 25 subscribers, maybe or something like that. Also, Grumpy Dad 56 on Twitter. I share a lot of stuff on Twitter. When, especially when I can't do, when, especially when there's updates on projects and I can't get to, you know, do a video about it, I will make sure I share it up there. Um, also, some of our Facebook groups that are in the list below. Thank you all. So, first of all, I just want to mention on Thursdays, I do a live. I quit doing lives at one point. I had one or two people who were, who were watching, and one of them was me on another, <laughs> on another Chrome tab just so I could see how it was looking. That's how bad it got to one point. I quit doing it for about a month, maybe two months. People asked me to start doing them again. They've been getting very active. I have to thank it. Again, I'm sure a lot of us, the Entropy crowd, it's a great group of guys that you know are in that project. I'm glad I came across them. Um, Jay Wall's the one who told me about it. I wish I would have followed it back a month earlier with what we're making. And we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, you know, technically, the whole thing with that is we're supposed to say we're not 
making nothing. We're mining nothing. But ladies and gentlemen, it's way more than nothing. So during that live, I gave away some, some goodies. Y'all have been asking about the hat and the Grumpy Dad YouTube hat. Got wing bits on one side because that was a project I was really, really pushing in Bit Harvest because those guys are working for free on firmware for your um your different helium devices and stuff, multi mining several projects. And of course, I am the godfather of the Gulf, which really is on a temporary hiatus right now because my Florida station is uh for wing bits. But for those who are new with wing bits, I have stations throughout the whole Gulf Coast from Florida. The Texas Mexico border. I I encompass with my wingbit stations the entire Gulf. So I started calling myself the Gestapo of the Gulf or the Godfather of the Gulf. It just kind of stuck after that. But I also have the t shirt on and uh I had some giveaways. People got the choice if they wanted the hat and shirt. We gave both of them. We are gonna do a slightly altered version because there's only one Godfather of the Gulf. I'm sorry. But I want to add in trophy. I also need to get permission. Before I start mass giving these out from from these projects that are on there, one project hasn't gotten back to me yet. If they if they give me their permission to put it on there, if not, we'll fill something else in on it. But these are the projects that I'm into right now that I'm really trying to push. So we'll be doing some more giveaways. Another thing is I have hit. I don't know how. I tell you every time I'm humbled by every new milestone that I hit, but my channel has blown up. Um. I never thought I'd get more than 100 subscribers. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, I was in awe. And I am up to 19,000. I hit 19,000 since probably the last time I did this Monday video. And I'm at 19,800. I can't thank you all enough. But I'm about to make a very, very horrible life decision. And as a way of saying thank you, I wasn't going to do it at 25, but I'm just going to do it at 20, is I'm planning on doing some great giveaways for hitting 20,000 when I hit 20,000. What exactly is it gonna be? I don't know yet, but it's not gonna be, you know, $2 worth of some coin that like I did in some giveaways in the past. It, it's gonna be starting from hats and shirts as long as the person who's making them from me doesn't block me from Discord and, and the phone and stuff. Cause I gave him some work last week with all those giveaways, gave away way more than me and him agreed on. But hey, everybody who asked for a shirt and a hat, I was trying to limit it to b between three or four people, and we ended up giving away, like, I think 12 by the time we were done. Hey, you know, what, what do we do? Um, I'm planning on doing more than that for the 20000 Yes, I'll probably make some shirts and hats in there, too, just so I can give more, but it's going to be more of tokens, not 2 to $3 worth. Hey, we're in the crypto, spreading the love. So, you know, it might be some bit harvest servers, some bit harvest token. I can tell right now it's gonna be some entropy. I have been buying entropy. I couldn't wait for my miner to come in and for it to start mining. I have been also buying entropy. We're gonna talk about it in a second. So it's gonna be some entropy. It's probably gonna be some Solana. It's probably gonna be some other stuff like that. Um, and shirts and hats and maybe I don't know. Who knows? But we're going to give some stuff away. How I'm going to do it is, you know, between now and whenever I hit 20,000, as long as you like and subscribe, you like the video, you subscribe to my channel. And then you also, whenever I do a video between now and then, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get 20,000. It could take me another month. It could happen before Thursday's live. I don't know. But any video, as long as you comment, on here, you share it on Twitter, and you um, like and subscribe to, to each video. So if I do another video, I got videos planned every day this week. Tomorrow's video, I'm planning on doing a, well, I'm going to do it when I get home, um, doing a, an Entropy setup video. I had some people ask about that, that they had some issues with setting up Entropy. So I'm going to do an Entropy setup video. And I got some, some videos that I'm going to do about some projects. Some are going to be positive and some ain't going to be positive. So as long as y'all are liking and subscribe, like each video, y'all subscribe to the channel, you're subscribed and, you know, share. When I post the video to my Twitter, y'all share that. Comment on each video or something like that. You know, and then I might add a few things after that. You know, I'm gonna make y'all work for it. I'm sorry. 
some people complain I'll make y'all do too much stuff. Um, it's got to be worthwhile to both sides, you know? So I ramble long enough. Let's, uh, we're going to go, what I do every time is I go over the charts just a little bit. I'm not a big TA guy. Sometimes I think that helps because I'm not looking at stuff that people really want to see. But I like to look at the charts because I like to see which way crypto is going. So when we look at some of our passive income projects, and if we see those passive income projects going the opposite way of what most crypto is doing, because we all know Bitcoin's going up, majority of everything else is going up. If Bitcoin's going down since last Monday, it's the, you know, everything else should be going down. So if our projects are in that same direction, we, we're not panicking. If they're going in the opposite direction, either we're really happy or we're really upset. So let's take a look at, we'll see what some of these um, project, these charts are doing. All right, so first thing we're gonna look at, of course, is Bitcoin, which what's Bitcoin doing? Since our video last week, which was about here, we are exactly, exactly where we were last week. So let's see, actually that was Monday at about five o'clock, six o'clock. So we are pretty close to, we're up $300 from where we were last week. You know, and for those who have been on my channel for a while, you know my favorite saying is, I told you so, but all these people in crypto were talking about during all this time right here that, oh, Bitcoin's going up. We're going straight up. We're going to hit 72,000. And I kept trying to tell them, weekend's coming. I need to take deep breaths. This ain't going up forever. Oh, no, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. This is bit. We're in the bull market now. And here we are, like I said, a month later. I mean, I'm sorry, a week later from where we were last week. That's where we at. As you can see, two, three hundred, four hundred dollar difference. So I don't, I don't know if you're gonna sit in and try to say that we're in this bull market and everything skyrocket when really we just are continued like I've been saying for a while. We just in this sideways thing. We can we can get all excited all we want, but since March, we have been sideways. Too far back. So here we go. As you can see. And I've also pointed out that, and people don't like when I point this out, but let me see what I did there. To me, we're still on this downward type. You know, are we going to see this new? And even down here, we matched it. Let me steal this line. You know, are we are we on this this kind of path? Again, I don't draw lines for a living. Y'all don't follow me for that kind of stuff or anything like that. But you know, to me, it is what it is. We really need to see this bounce up. This is the resistance I told y'all about the other day. Again, I'm not a big TA guy. Don't follow me about for everything. But I told everybody we got to go past this line, and we didn't. It is what it is. So we're about even from where we were seven days ago. So Solana, I'm going to tell you all, Solana is looking really, really good. That's another project, you know, since last Monday, we were at, I can't see it, $143. We had $155. I'll tell you all, DCA into Solana all the time. Buy, buy it with my IOT. Adam, I don't know what's going on with Adam. Still one of my biggest holdings mainly because on Exodus it has great staking, still great staking. It's just not worth what it used to be. It was at $40 at one time. If it goes back to $40, I'm going to be looking really good. Cardano, oh, it's I got to go hard just to see Cardano with those Cardano fans. I'm going to tell you all, I, I own all, you know, I'm not going to lie to you all, I own a good bit of this. So last week it was at, when we did this video, it had to be somewhere around 36 cents. That's at 37.9, almost 38 cents. And it was up to 42, but Cardano needs a jump start or something like that. This is one that I will say surprised me, but we all know what happens. What happens with these meme coins is we know meme coins always seem to run first before the bull market starts, before Bitcoin starts, then the alts and that kind of stuff like that. Meme coins have always kind of led the way. 
Whiff is something that I kind of hold dear because for those who's been following me that long, in Christmas time, I called Whiff at 25, 26 cents. It was 32 cents or something. Then it dropped a little bit. And I told people I'm loading up on Whiff. And then I got out around three or four dollars. Did very well. I had somebody who followed me on Whiff or one of the meme coins who did so well. I really don't want to disclose this, but he actually bought me a device for one of the projects that we discussed. That, that's as a gift because he did that well. Me, I don't have the balls. Excuse my French. I guess I'm supposed to be more PG. The testicles or the guts, you know, have a lot of guts to put that kind of money in there, but apparently he did, and he did very well. Last week, this was at $1.69, and I really thought about putting some more into it. It's at $2.40, and it doesn't look like it's, it's, I guess I need to show this to y'all. You know, this, it was down here, and it's up here. I think that's pretty good. Vet is, is kind of coming back down. I own a lot of Vet. Lunar Classic, don't know what the hell it wants to do. It looks like it's drunk and stumbled over something. It's just falling down a hill. I've. This one's always got some new news or getting rid of news or something like that about burns and who's going to burn and tethering and all this stuff like that. Ugh. AVAX is another one I'm high in. That one was about $27. It's still at $27. It's come back down. HNT. HNT is holding its own, but we're going to do more deep dive into all that. All right. So this is the, this is the party I actually came for 20 minutes later is we're going to start going over our projects. For those new people, we go down list by list, and I kind of rank them. I have a mainnet section, stuff that's live and on mainnet, and then on the bottom I have stuff that's still in beta, and I have them ranked. The mainnet is how we're doing daily on it. That's how that's ranked. The um, testnet section is all about my fat gut feeling on it and how I, you know, how I feel about that project is going to be in the future. And I'll discuss more when we get there, but testnet is just still a crapshoot. That's all it is. All right, so we're going to do this a little bit different because I know some of y'all cheat. That's how we all got through high school or, you know, New England Patriots won the Super Bowl. But I'm going to do this section by section so you can't cheat ahead. But there's one thing I want to say before I reveal what my number one project is. I have to be honest with y'all. While this project is doing great, and right now it's my number one most exciting project, and you have to have not been following my channel for the last week to not know what I'm talking about. There are certain things I want to say. This is still a small project. It does not have a lot of liquidity into it. It's got some great price action, but it does not have a lot of liquidity to it. And if you're in this project, the second law is you can't sell. Now, there's nobody stopping you from selling, but you penalize for selling, you got to burn, and then you also stop from selling. That is why the price action is so great. I'm not planning on selling anytime soon. Another thing is this project does not does not just automatically let everybody join. They want to make sure that you're serious about the project and what you want to do. I've talked in the video in the past about you have to dig a hole, you gotta join the Twitter, you gotta join the Discord, you gotta dig a hole like you mean it, you gotta put a picture of your, uh, with your name inside the hole, with the dirt next to it to show it's not a hole that was already done, and some people are still not being accepted. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I don't work for them, I'm just involved in the project you are, I'm not a partner with them, I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not sponsored by any project. That's the one thing I have to continue to say is so far, not saying I'm not open to it, but I am not sponsored by any project. Apparently, they just don't think my channel's worth it. I don't have the great production value. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know how some people have a thousand subs and yet they're getting free devices sent to them for testing. And I got almost 20,000 subs. And when I've reached out to two or three of them, I don't even get a response back. I don't, I don't, it, I don't sweat it. I don't care. But I don't know, you know, from what I stand right now, Again, I'm not saying this is caused by me because there are other YouTubers who are talking about it also. But what I will tell you is, I just told you all how many views my, my 
last video had. Those are all going to be people, not all of them, but there's going to be a good amount of those people now who are digging the holes. There's a lot of ho poor holes in poor Mother Earth right now. But they're not just going to automatically accept you. They're going to do so a little bit of background as much as they could possibly do to make sure you're real. We don't want no scam artists in this. We don't want no bots. They don't. I'm going to say we, but they don't want no bots. So they're going to look into it, see how active you are on social media and that kind of stuff like that. So it's not an automatic given that you're going to be selected. I keep trying to tell people, I keep trying to tell them, do not go buy the $15 miner on Amazon. And actually the, the one I've been sharing lately, it was $9.99. Don't go buy the $9.99 device yet until you are accepted on Discord with a minor role, because I know what's going to happen. And I'm starting to kind of see it. People are going to buy a device and not get a minor role, or it's taking so long to get the minor role on Discord, they're getting upset. I'm trying to tell y'all, do not go on with this project until you are approved with your whole, you're approved with a minor role on Discord, then you're going to have to sit on your hands for two days, order from Amazon, and get your 999 device in, and then you can follow, you can follow the instructions there, or you can wait for my video to come out in the next day or two and do that. But saying all that, Currently, right now, I'm still on the lower ranked side of miners. There's 270 something miners, 280 miners as of right now. And I just updated my um, dashboard right here. No, I'm not showing it to you because um, I don't know what, what these values are and if they're important or not. So I'm not taking that chance. Um, but I am ranked 225 out of 280, which means. I'm not even on the high end of the reward scale. Now, the one big joke, and you'll have to understand what this Discord is, there are some foolishness and shenanigans, but it's all lighthearted. So if you get your feelings hurt and you're kind of sensitive, this is not the Discord. But I'm going to tell you, of all the Discords I'm in, all the Discords I'm in, I've always said Wingbits was one of the most tight-ran, best professional Discords, and I still say that, but this has to be one of the, Trophy has to be one of the most fun, funnest, if that's the word, funnest, funniest discords for me to participate in. I'm, I'm always in it. It's a great group of people, great group of people. And once you kind of get involved with them and you accept it as a minor and you become kind of part of the club, it, it's, it's fun. And I'm going to tell you all that. I'm, I'm having a great time. I'm having a blast. And that's why I'm so behind this project. Or oh, there's a couple of red flags. Y'all know I'm honest. Don't keep me out the discord, but there are one or two red flags. We don't know what's going to be happening. This is another reminder before we get started. I know I'm taking too long on this. You do your research, but you never play with money that you can't afford to lose tomorrow. Not just with Entropy, with any of these projects. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You look at FTX, nobody was expecting to lose millions and millions of dollars tomorrow. You never know what's going to happen in the crypto world. You have to play with money that if you wake up tomorrow and and everything is locked down and you can never touch crypto again in your country that you're not going to go want to jump off a bridge. And some people are not following that because they, they contact me going completely butthurt when there's something going on. I don't know, personally know people involved in this project. I've talked to them a lot, had a lot of people who vouched for them, but if they walked up to me tomorrow at a store, I wouldn't know who they were. Some projects, wing bits and stuff to fully dox in, I would know those people, well, maybe. But I want everybody to kind of understand all this before. I, I'm very hesitant, as you can tell, revealing this, because I think when y'all see this number, people are going to click off of this and go do whatever they got to go do to join us. And that it just concerns me because people are going to just run and go try to join us, and when they're having problems, get into it. It, it, the comments are going to come back on me or against this project, and I just know it's coming. But what I'm making right now is not close to what some of these people are making who have been in this project since the beginning. Of course, every day somebody joins, it does go down. Again, as y'all can tell, I'm hesitant to share this, but this is what I'm making currently right now with this project. In eight days, I have $253. 
and I'm making $31 a day. $31 a day. The price action on this has been crazy. I think that's been the most exciting to me than anything because I told y'all, I also, in the beginning, was purchasing this when it was half of what this price was. I think, I think, I don't want to lie to y'all. It, it's, it's just, it has been crazy, exciting. Close to half. Well, no, it's been more than half. But tell you what, let's, let's, let's go look at that. Let's go look at that. So this is where Entropy's at right now. And Entropy, you look at the price range from down here when the, where the bottoms kind of were. You're looking at a 330% increase at this point. All right. Now, if you want to look at it from where I got in and started buying, that had to have been on the 26th around there. So I was buying around here. So I'm at 173% up from what I purchased this app. And Friday, it just started going ballistic. It just started going ballistic. We started going up to this one range right here. It then came down a little bit. And then the buying just continued. And the buying's been continued. Now, again, to be honest, because I don't want nobody to start talking crazy to me and stuff like that. Yes, the token is still mintable. mintable. It's a red flag. The token's still not on Coin Market Cap. It's not on Coin Gecko. So y'all don't have to tell me about all that either. Because I've had some people make them comments to me. This is a brand new project. When you look back at when it kind of got started, it started a little over a month ago. So when it got released, yes, it came up, it went down, and everything else. And look, if we could see this again, that'd be great. But we know the more people get into it, it is. Um, You've had 17,000 in volume with a 53% increase in just 24 hours. 700,000 market cap almost has got 10,000 liquidity, which is going up. Now, again, you're mining a meme coin. They will tell you, and you say, and you can't go into Discord talking about how much money you're making or anything like that. They're going to correct you and tell you and warn you there's no price talk. You're mining nothing. Miners eat first. What does miners eat first mean? Again, I talked about all this in that video, but for those who are new, miners eat first meaning there's no VC, there's no, there's no VC allocation, there's no founder allocation, there's no airdrops. Perfect product market fit. There's a one year halving cycle, 55 billion max supply, 2.38 platform fee on claims, requires hardware to mine. Unclaimed tokens get burned. This is not a project that you can sit here and forget about. You have to stay up with this project, meaning every seven days, if you haven't claimed anything, everything from the first day will get burned and so on. On the eighth day, everything from the second day gets burned or maybe the first day, on the eighth day, first day gets burned. Then on the ninth day, if you haven't pulled it yet, everything on the second day got burned. So by every seven days, at the least every seven days, you have to claim. What does claiming mean? Claiming means you're gonna pull it from your actual device or your dashboard to your phantom wallet. You're not penalized by that. You have to do that every seven days. When you try to take what you claimed, that's, you know, like say phantom wallet, because that's what I'm using. If I try to sell anything out of that phantom wallet or move it or anything like that, that is when you're gonna get penalized with the second law. I'm not gonna go into this deep thing because I did it in my video. This video is already going way too long, but I just know there's a lot of people here that come in to hear about this who are not in this, or when they see that number, they're gonna think it's just as easy as going by a ASIC miner and just hooking it up and you're automatically involved. And this, this is not gonna be like this. Now, I wanna clarify also is that if you buy like I did, you go buy $20 worth of Solana on say Coinbase, you move that to your phantom wallet, and then the, I use Jup Jupiter to um, tr trade or whatever you want to call it, transfer, swap $20 worth of Solana for $20 worth of Jupe. You're still allowed whatever that, you know, if that gives you 500,000 coins, I don't know what the number is, you're allowed to sell that 500,000 with no penalties because you purchased that. That didn't come from mining. Make sure everybody knows that.
me who I'm planning on doing airdrops and stuff, or whatever you want to call it, giveaways, as long as I'm giving away what I purchased, and that's not from the number of what I mined, I am safe to do that. So as you can see, and, and look, I am expecting if the price action continues and my rank slowly continues to go up, I'm expecting this $31 per day to go up. I'm not personally making this number, what I'm about to tell you, but there are people in Discord who are claiming to be making $50 a day. Now, you're not going to make that because when you join now, you're going to be on the lower level. And you slowly, as you stay online, the longer you stay online, the, the higher your rank gets. At least that's why, how I think it's going to work, or it works. As somebody goes offline for some reason, they go down. And as you go up in rank, the more you make per day. I'm ecstatic making this right now. So $50 a day is not going to make or break me. Will it be great? Yes. I'm going to tell you, they burn a lot of tokens. So don't let the $55 billion scare you. They burn a lot of tokens. I have even offered that if I get it, you know, allowed to do a second device, I'm speaking to them now about it, I will burn basically everything that that second device makes to help burn. Some people say it ain't going to help. Some people say it will help. I'm not looking to double mine. You can't really double mine. They don't give second devices out. If you get one, be happy you got the one. Don't try to go make up a second Discord. Don't go try to make up a second Twitter account to try to get a second monitor. They're going to figure it out somehow. Because they are, there's a channel on the Discord for people who have tried to game them, and then you're going to lose out on both of them. Don't try it. All right, I think we beat that dead horse. Um, you know, it's, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of stuff to talk about when you're mining nothing. That's all I can say. Next, we got GeoNet. GeoNet, I am making $5 a day, which until number one, look, I didn't even go change my numbers yet. All right, I updated that. Geonet's number two. So until Entropy came along, Geonet was doing very well. You know, a little while back, I was making like $253 a day. I had somebody on Discord last night saying, man, you should be making $5 a day. I said, I don't think I'm making $5 a day. But with the price action and my devices staying on, online a little bit longer, yes, I am actually making $5 a day right now, which, again, until Entropy, $5 is good compared to what I'm making with these other projects. So. You know, GeoNet, it collaborating with WingBits and doing that dual miner, I think it's going to be a big deal. They're making some very good money right now. GeoNet is at 25 cents right now. It is up 12% since our last video. It was at 22 cents before. It's at 25. And look, at one time, it was up to almost 30 cents. So GeoNet's very healthy right now. I'm happy with where they're going. Um, I am looking at learning some more about Onacore and all that. And we'll see how that goes. Moving on to Weather XM, that's number three, making about a dollar fifty a day. Y'all know my love hate relationship with Weather XM right now. One positive thing that I will say is a lot of projects need to take lessons from Weather XM. Weather XM announced a while back they were going to be inputting like four thousand dollars a day into liquidity into their token, and this is a perfect example of what happens with that. It has gone up so much that. The little thing I make gets blended in. It is up 50%. So it started off at about um is even lower than that. 36 cents or something like that. This says it's up 47%. So it's at 53 cents now. But that goes to show you when you when when you when you zoom out of this, you can see how weather XM was just going down, 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 down. Since it got released straight down and then they decided to start putting this four thousand dollars liquidity into it I, I think that's great for the project i'm happy to see them doing that but if you follow me at all i've had nothing but problems with this weather xm station for a while when i first got it it would just disconnect for no reason the thing has not moved since the day i had installed it then for the last two or three months it has stayed reliably connected with no problems, and now all of a sudden I'm seeing problems again with it saying I'm this Like yesterday, I think I got, I normally get about 2.8 um, points right now or something like that. And was it 3.2? Yesterday I got like 1.8 or something like that. 
Nobody was here. Nobody messed with anything. Nothing changed. It just has a hard time staying connected. I'm also being penalized because there's something wrong with the sensors inside of it. Like as if that's my fault. Again, some of it is my fault because I have been so busy. I don't have time to contact Weather XM to deal with it. So I guess you can blame some of that on me. Also, during a hurricane, if y'all knew that to this video, during a hurricane, it's measured zero pre precipitation, no rain, which the six inches that fell that day argues with that. So it does have some, some issues, but all disclaimer, I'm a weather geek and I'm in the crypto. This was the best of both worlds for me, so that's why I got into it. I didn't really get into weather exempt to make any money. Making a dollar fifty is great. Um, I'm at two hundred one dollars worth right now, so I think that's close to ROI. Anything after that is just land yep, as we say down here. So moving on, Natix. Natix is another one. I think I am um, bracing for impact with Natix. So y'all need to be bracing for impact for hit, for, for Natix. Natix made me look like a straight fool. I don't. My, I don't like looking like a fool. August 1st, we got a wonderful, great airdrop, which basically gave me the equivalent of what I've made in Natix plus the airdrop. I made $150 for the month. I did this video to my how great Natix was. Then come September 1st, you didn't get no bonus. And I got an 8,000 Natix increase. So that was $24 a month. I, I'm not happy at all with it, but I'm, I'm waiting to see what happens come September, I mean, October 1st. I put a ticket in asking them to explain all this to me, and for the longest time they couldn't, and basically they came back saying it was, that was just a one-time thing. Now now the HODL bonus is if you get the HODL bonus and make diamond, then you're just going to get um, an extra day on the nitro. Do you really think people are not going to sell my issue right now with Natix is Natix is only, this is not just me saying, this is a lot of people saying it. Natix is benefiting drivers. When I say drivers, not you and me who's driving back and forth to work or to soccer fields and stuff with your kids. Drivers like Uber, Lyft, ride share type drivers, 18 wheel drivers, because they do this stupid ranking thing throughout the month. And then whoever ranks the highest, however you're ranked, gets the most Natix. Well, who do you think is going to get that every time? What's the incentive for people like me who, you know, I'm ranked 500 and something. I drove all weekend with this. I drove the Grand Isle last weekend, which is a three-hour trip. I drove to the hunting camp. I just released those videos um, on my other channel. Make sure y'all go join that one. I'm driving my butt off and not making anything. Why do they have to do this stupid ranking thing? You know what? How about you go to a system like any other project and you just pay us for what we drive? We go drive from here to the mall, you pay us a little bit of Natix for that. We drive from here to our hunting camp that's two and a half, three hours away, and then back, and you pay us for whatever that is. The rankings are only going to help certain people. So what happens when only those certain people, those ride share drivers, are the only ones going to be supporting your project, and all you do is keep mapping the same thing over and over again? Because that's what I see happening. But that's just me, and I'm negative all the time. But to me, Natix is not benefiting the normal person driving back and forth. Now, you know, I will give positive where positive is due. The price action for Natix has been basically the same for seven days. It's been the same basically for a month, 0 .001, 0 0.001. This token has not really moved that really that much since the beginning. Even in July, it started off at 0 0.0008, came down to 0 0.007, and has come up 18% since it started. It has not really moved. So it has not gone down, even when crypto was going down, you know, a month or two ago. They have kind of helped. I don't know if they're doing burning. Um, I don't know if they are just with, if they're selling data and they're using net to to buy into this, like um, whether Xem's doing. I don't know, but you, we have to say that they're priced. But again, you're not going to have volume when nobody's receiving tokens to the first of the month. So majority of people, there's nobody really receiving tokens other than the first of the month. So that's when majority of them are going to sell. Some people might sell throughout the month, but that's got to really mess up the volume profile when you think that you're going to have profile. Um, you know, look at 
point eighty three volume market cap in twenty four hours. I, I I don't, you know, now Orca and them say that it's been thirty seven thousand dollars in twenty four hours. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. But I just think Natix needs to redo this while they still can, because I think once a lot of people get a bad taste in their mouth for it, they're not going to give it another chance. But I've been wrong before. Moving on. Helium IoT still here, still running. Um, I can tell y'all that I have one station down, I think. So with the price action, price action for Helium IoT has come up slightly. Um, not blowing the world away. If I can figure out how to turn it on. There you go. But in the last seven days, we are up 1%. So, hey, it's still holding. I say, I still think that's good because when you think that at one time mobile was way higher than IoT, and for the last month, I mean, you're still, you're still at 3%. So, I think that's doing very well. What I will say is that I'm still getting about 6,200 a day, even though I'm down one station. That ends up being eight. And um, it's still only 50 cents a day for a healing device. And when you think, I tell a story that I made $5,000 in the first 17 days with Helium when it was first out. And if you would have told me back then I would go down and making 50 cents a day, I would have never believed you. But that's where we're at now with Helium. I keep them on. And what I do is I convert that IoT every day. I tell the story that every day in the evening, it's just habit now when I'm playing Call of Duty with Fluffy and them. I just, it makes me think about it. I download my IoT. Nine times out of 10, I'm converting it to Solana. So for who knows how long now, I've been buying seven, eight, six, eight, seven, eight dollars worth of Solana every day. Occasionally I'd buy some H and T depending on what the price is, because that's got a feeling that that's gonna go back up. I don't know why. Um, but lately what I have been doing is, for full disclosure, I've been converting this to entropy every day. So every day I'm buying eight dollars, four dollars, five dollars, six dollars worth of entropy, um, building that up in that wallet. And when you, when I just showed you what the price action was. So yeah, I bought twenty dollars Solana here, twenty dollars Solana here, and then also the eight dollars of or five dollars or six dollars of IoT here and there. It just I've been taking all that and building up my entropy portfolio. I think it's going to be good. And hey. What I like about that is if the price action continues to get stupid, I can, even though we technically not supposed to sell our entropy, let me say that first, but I can just still kind of sell a little bit here and there to make up some profits and stuff like that. Um, and then still never touch what I've mined. At least that's the whole idea. You know, we cover helium just because a lot of us came from helium. That was one of on our first real IOT deep pin project and right now you know it's holding steady it's up two percent was 743 seven days ago it's 758 now i'm happy with this um as long as it's not going down i i think helium's holding its own you know it's still up 7.3 percent for the month so helium's holding its own keep going all right we're moving on now to demo oh, demo I'm trying to see. I hate to sound there about everything other than entropy, but Demo's got issues. That's just me. I just don't, you know, I know people who are still trying to push Demo. Demo's come out with this new device. I, some of these YouTubers are pushing it. I have no disrespect for them. I don't know if they're getting it for free. I don't know if they got to deal with, with Demo, but I, I just don't understand why you're going to push this project that's getting 45 cents a day. So we saw the news with Demo. They got the new miner coming out, hundred and sixty nine dollars, and it won't ship until mid December. Because everybody always hits their their planned dates of shipping. We know that nobody ever misses. I, I have a lot of things to say about it, but I think Demo, in my opinion, only my opinion, not financial advice. The ship sailed on it. If you don't mind being involved in a, the project, giving you forty-five cents a day, 
now before anybody argues with me and tries to correct me. Yes, the LTE R1 will make a little bit more money or tokens than what the other device did. So one we're using now with Helium. I have an issue with that, but we're going to get more involved. We're going to get discuss that a little bit deeper when it comes to Hive Mapper because it's kind of the same thing. All right, moving on to our testnet projects. Chirp, y'all know I'm very high on Chirp, and I think it's going to be, a, I just think they're doing things differently. Not really much more I can say about it. They had a, the trophy campaign for airdrops. Apparently, there was no winners. Everybody that was selected didn't receive an email saying they didn't win, but so they managed selected the winners. Those people got an email from marketing at Chirp Wireless, so check your junk mail, maybe. Somebody got lucky. I know I didn't. Um, but I, I have a chirp device, so I'm already making those tokens. That kind of thing like that. Um, chirps at the Things Conference 2526, which is already passed. Some other things. And excited about incredible partnerships we've made on the road. The upcoming Chirp mainnet launch. A building on SUI. We did the only one. But anyway, so. Mix out the peak and everybody else. Yeah, okay. Um, Chirp's coming out with a deep pin play to earn game. I have very grumpy mixed emotions on this. I, I don't get it. I don't. I don't see why why they're so big on this. Chirp supposed to be an IoT project for IoT networking, um, using two point four, nine fifteen, all stuff like that. Why are we wasting time with this? Am I missing something here? Anybody else knows, please tell me. Again, I'm high on the chirp. I'm telling everybody about it. I plan on whenever they start selling devices again or selling the um, NFTs to buy a device again, which they're saying that's going to be closer or right after release of mainnet or something like that. You buy the NFT, then you can exchange it for the devices. $800, but I'm telling you right now, I'm probably going to buy another Chirp device. I want one more, so they'll give me two total, not even close to each other. And I, that's how positive I feel about this project. But this doesn't impress me. Again, I'm old school. Hey, I like gaming. I play Call of Duty every night. People making fun of me on my YouTube right now about my computer I'm trying to put together. Um, but this just doesn't impress me. I, I don't know why we got to. If it's just trying to keep people entertained until mainnet, but they keep saying mainnet's right around the corner. No, apparently for some reason they got drama and chirp, and they're gonna sit here and talk about um, SkyX copying off with Nubla, which bought knowns Bloom Sky, and this is why I like Wingbits because Wingbits would shut this down. Talking about there's no reason to be talking about other projects like this in chirp. It, it's not responsible what's it solving anything like that you know talking about some mod and different things like that scam projects and whatever like that i, I just don't stand why chirps allowing this but that's basically it right now from chirp all right moving on from chirp to wing bits i'm at three hundred and fifty nine thousand wings on the dashboard for lifetime you know i've made seven thousand since last video seven days ago that is down for me probably down by about two thousand I have devices that are down right now. I got my number one station in Grand Isle that's down because the guy moved from his fishing camp, which that was my number one station, 10 feet off the ground, but captured a, a lot of the Gulf. Working out currently, I have somebody who's verbally approved me to put a device on top of their place, but it's also a two hour drive and I, I just, it's gotta be a weekend thing and I just don't have time right now with, it going, with stuff going on. I have two other stations that are down right now because of the hurricane. So that's the three total stations. And I got a host device that is goes down for a day, up for three days, down for a day, up for three days. And that's getting old quick. So also one of my other devices was in, like I told you, I was in Florida. So I'm down. People want to know what I'm making per day. They, they ask me, what are you making per day? I have a station and i haven't really narrowed it down but when i look today i got one station making six a day and i got my another station making 330 a day people have dm me complaining about what they're making with wings and stuff like that and look this is all about 
looking at the map before you even set up, before you even obligate yourself to this project and look at what you see. Anybody can come over here to this map on wingbits.com. You don't have to be a member. But you can click this antenna and look at these hexes. This is my area, for example. These are not all mine. So there are some places, some hexes that I'm not number one or anything like that. So when you're, when you're searching around here and if you live right here, listen, Wingbits would love to have you part of the project, but it's just not going to be viable for you. That's just me being honest with you. Dallas, if you live right here, it's not worth you putting it up or you'll be one of the people out here complaining that I'm making seven wings a day. Now, if, if, if all these are horrible setups and you can get on top of a tower, you get on top of a building or you have a high house that's on a hill and you can do more, get more hexes than some of these people, then yes, you might do good. But if you, if you put this on the side of your house or something like that, or in a window in the attic, you're not going to do it. Now, you live right here, you can do very, very, very well. When it even comes up to like right here, you could, when you, you're going to get with one station, probably one station, probably what I'm getting with, with 12, 13, 14 stations online. You'll probably get seven, 800 wings a day. If you live around here in San Francisco, you can put one up, but you're not going to get as much because it's, it's not just what you're making this hex, but yeah, remember you're seeing 200 miles with a good setup, 200 miles. That's a 400 mile radius. So the people who are complaining that I don't know what, you know, I'm only making six a day or people complaining only making six a day. You guys, if I go put one right here, I'm making six a day, five a day. If I put it in the window or attic, I might be getting less than that. If I live somewhere that right here, Juneau, Alaska, I'm going to be killing it. If I go and put one here and one up here somewhere, I'm making 1,600 wings a day, if not more. Depending on the setup, depending on the mountains and stuff like that. So please just do this kind of research. You know, I can remember a day when there was one or two stations here. I think there was Axie's station over here. I had a station here. Somebody had a station over here. Somebody might have had a station. And that was it back a year ago, more, a little more than a year ago. Because when my one station went offline, there was no planes that you could see down here at all. And I'm proud of what this project is, is turning into. There are a couple of things that I'm, um, but I'm, I'm holding that reservation for right now. A lot, a lot of these people that are complaining, I think are in, are in these regions. And like they said is, you know, this is giving, these stations are giving adequate coverage for what the project needs and what they can sell the customers. And that is to a point what's coming first. While they do want to take care of their miners and stuff, you know, somebody adding a device right here is, you know, is not benefiting the project. Let's just be honest. Somebody putting another device right here is not benefiting the project. But my boys that I helped in Africa, you know, right here, they're killing it. My boy right here that, I, that, that I've helped in Nairobi, killing it, killing it. With, 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 with his station, when he had one station up, his one station was doing what, you know, he was worried about, man, I'm only making eight or 900 or whatever it was a day. I'm like, are you, are you chitting me right now that you, <laughs> you don't know if you're doing well? That's awesome. So it's all about location. Now, the thing about it is, is, you can't, they reached their 2000 threshold. They can't allow any more devices or homemade devices on. There is a waiting list. And as some people come off of that 2000 list because the devices have been offline too long or they just decided they don't be part of the project, that will open up another spot that you might be able to get in. Other than that, you can be buying this device from Wingbits and GeoNet. Um, there have been some pictures rolling around of what they look like. I think they look, look like very sturdy rugged type devices and and i think they're gonna do good moving on to sword chain look i am very very big on this project i got i, I get flack from some people but demo did very well for the beginning people i think sword chain's gonna be the same way i'm staking everything through dash tech and 
I'm making 55 tokens a day. I'm making more sometimes in staking than I am actually riding around with the device linked in. So if you have Sorchain, TSOR, you need to be staking. Um, I've made 1,100 tokens since last week. 20,000 I, um, I didn't have my truck for a full day, maybe a day and a half. I had to go to the shop for some recall and that kind of stuff like that. And um, so when I drove around, I was in a spare um, vehicle that I didn't have my, my sword chain hooked up to. So I missed almost a day and I still made 1,100. So I think sword chain is going to be big. I've been trying to tell a lot of people about it. If you're interested in sword chain, I have a discount code in my description. I think sword chain is going to be a good project, especially in the beginning. This is, they do have an airdrop that's going to be coming at some point. So I know that there was a lot of updates that happened with Bluetooth. Um, I did a video on it. I'm not impressed. Some people love it. I think it depends on the phone, depends on the environment you're in. But I had connection issues, even with the update that came out for iPhones. Um, I think if you have a fake iPhone, which is anything that's not an iPhone, those seem to be a little more reliable. But Bluetooth, when I went to Mississippi for my hunting lease the other day, I was in the vehicle for two hours. I go and check it, and it's disconnected. I never left the vehicle. It was connected for about an hour and a half, maybe about two hours. And then for the last 20 minutes, it was disconnected. As soon as you open it, it goes. it's almost like it got caught, and it's reconnecting. And the same thing happened two hours later. An hour and a half, it disconnected. It was disconnected for 20, 30 minutes. And as soon as I open it up, oh, oh, it gets startled and it's and it's opening back up. Phone never left my truck. After the third time that happened, I reversed out the Bluetooth, put it back on my cellular hotspot in the phone or whatever you call it, and it has not it never disconnected. Yesterday I went and did that ham stuff. Um, if y'all saw that video on my other channel, make sure y'all go join my other channel again. Simple plug. But I was in my truck for two to three hours, never disconnected. It even stayed connected when I went in my house and came out my house. I found that the Wi-Fi hotspot on the phone has way better distance and it's way more reliable. That's me. Everybody wanted Bluetooth for ease, but if I gotta go in there and make sure that the Bluetooth's connected, it's, it's nothing easier. So for those with sword chain, try out the Bluetooth. You might like it better. It's supposed to be cool. It was supposed to be automatic when you just got in the car and connected back. I think that it, it's not doing it. Moving on to Silencio, I'm still running it. I, I, it's just a habit thing. Wherever I go, I'm running Silencio. Um, because I, again, around my area, there's not a lot of places to check in, even though I do occasionally check in some places. I went down in rank. I made 3,500 tokens since last week, and I'm down at 1245, where the week before that I was at like 1230 or 1228 or something like that. I'm up to 179,000 tokens. As far as any updates go with the project, nothing really. The announcements were all from last week that I went over with already. They do have this important information thing that they went down. And it's just this thing about basically everything else that happened to crypto is, you know, hide your keys, hide your mom, hide your wife, hide everything. But I thought what one thing that was interesting in here is they do talk about the success of the project depends significantly on our ability to produce, distribute, and service the app and its related software, which is used to enable measurement and sharing of user-generated data for each user. So they're basically telling you that 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 the success of the project depends in large part of the ability to continue to develop, market the app. I just thought that was I, I've never really seen something that came straight out and said that like that before. But there's nothing new about. TGE, Mainnet, or anything like that. There's nothing really new in announcements. I know kind of how I feel about that, but it just seems like, you know, I personally think, again, this is just Grumpy's take on things, not fact, not, and it could be fact, but I'm saying I don't have any facts to back it up. I think this is the holdup. I truly think there's been so many projects that, claimed how great peak was going to be and peak just has delay after delay after delay you've seen projects that would plan on doing peak before i don't want to name them all but there were several projects projects that we went over that 
swore they were using peak came out with announcement they're using peak and have slowly i don't want to say the word abandoned because supposedly there's still some type of partnership or something with peak i guess that's the nice way of letting it down and they've all jumped to solana and i think silencio is trying to hold on to peak and peak keeps getting delayed and i think that's possibly what's holding silencio back that's just my two cents not worth two cents moving on non-crypto project upside you know i like upside i went and got diesel today and it was like 25 cents a gallon return on that so while i made five dollars and that was it last week i got gas yesterday in one of my vehicles also had to go fill up some gas tanks for the pressure washing and lawnmower stuff we were doing all that was did with upside that's not credited yet on here and then like i said today's that's going to be like eight dollars or nine dollars alone that i'm gonna get added to this also again there's not a lot of people that have joined upside under me i'm hoping it's because y'all are already using upside if you go and get gas for your vehicles anyway why not use upside use my code it gives you ten dollars up front when you join or something like that i get a little bit from it as you use it but you're making money back this 145 dollars if i would need it right now for something i can go pull it out right now as real money so you have to get gas and stuff anyway why not use it it's very simple i got a video that i did on upside waiting on arrival not no mo if you have followed this channel at all in the last two to three months the hive mapper thing is getting old i kept saying i really wanted to support the project i wanted to support the project and I just kept getting torn with the price action. And then the problem was, is the B was supposed to arrive sometime around July. Then it got moved to quarter three. Well, we went past quarter three. Then they said the B camera was going to come quarter four. I personally emailed them, have the email saved. And I asked them, what is the status on the B? Now they're telling me mid to late quarter four. And I'm also reading online beginning of, of I would say quarter five. 2025 quarter one i'm not waiting for that i'm done i'm done with the games there's there are several several videos now coming out by other youtubers with shenanigans hive mapper possibly only worried about their fleet people and the uber driver and stuff like that and the, the the people like you and me are not getting the attention that we need you know every other project we talked about this either stayed the same or was up 10 11 percent and Hive mappers down another nine percent, nine percent on the month. It, it it's I, I don't I don't know I don't know what to tell y'all. I know I'm out. I have officially made I have officially emailed them today and said please return my money. No ifs ands or buts about it. I can take that four hundred five hundred dollars whatever they're going to give me back and. I don't really need for my computer build anymore. Like I was saying, I kept saying, should I return it? Should I get my money for my computer build? I don't need it no more. My computer build basically is there other than the video cards. I got one I'm going to borrow. My plan is right now when the GTX, whatever this 5,000 series comes out, I'm going to try to get a 4090 at a little bit discounted rate. That's what I want. If I'm going to do a topper line computer across the board, why am I going to get a 4060, 4070 card when I can go get a 4090 later? Because God knows what the 59 is going to cost. I'm just not doing this no more. So for those of you who might know Network Bits, God started kind of talking to a little bit. I, he put this video out, and this is a very good video about Hive Mapper. And it's, look, he was a big supporter of him in the beginning, but he explains it well. I know that, I know it's going to happen. There's going to be people underneath in these comments in my video this video they're going to say i'm still doing well in in hard map i drove seven miles and made a hundred dollars there's gonna be people who said i drove a hundred miles and i didn't make but 20 cents so i can tell you what majority of people are saying they're complaining about it on the discords they're doing videos on it and they're showing the proof he has another video coming out shortly talking to some other people about how they feel about hive mapper and stuff like that but 
it's clear from what I'm reading, from what videos are saying, that Hive Mapper has kind of, it's kind of, even the comments on this video talk about how this is another project that really supported these miners at first and these people at first and got them the way they are. And are they losing their way? The price action sucks. Hey, it was the bear market. I'm not going to say it wasn't. Stuff went down. But you're going to have a huge influx of hive mapper bees cameras that are going to hit this market come at the end of the year. And what do you think is going to happen with that? The rewards are going to tank because those are all people that got split stuff now. So, look, I I'm not going to go through all the different videos and stuff discussing it is what it is again i can tell you that there's been i did a video strictly about this a week or two ago and i had a lot of support behind it that while some people are making some decent rewards a lot of people are canceling and i, I just see more of it coming if you want to stay at the project hey i've always said to look at both sides bull market even you know what coins go up do i see this Price going up in a bull market? Sure, because everything goes up, even projects that have stuff abandoned. But if you have no buying action going on, Hive Mapper's not, at least it doesn't appear to me, they're not buying token and entering liquidity into it or anything like that, kind of like what WeatherXM's doing. WeatherXM, I keep going back to them, is, is making these projects look bad because WeatherXM's showing what happens. I talked to Wingbits people about it during the AMA, and I asked them that question. They're planning on doing that same thing. As people buy data, they're going to take some of those proceeds, and they're going to be injecting liquidity, buying the token, burning them, or whatever they're going to be doing to, to, to help that token, to help their people that are helping their, pro, their project. It appears to me, you can't tell me it takes a year. You, you started selling these bees at the end of last year, beginning of this year, where 10 months later, and you're telling me that you still can't supply them, then why were you selling them? And then how many people are now waiting on them? Because they're not getting the HDC regular cameras either. And then like somebody else put, another way of looking at it is, people in the Northern Hemisphere, when you finally do get this thing in, you're not in daylight savings time anymore. You have less daylight hours, so then you have less time to even run that camera. As I hate to say that hot map, you know, everything is going to be compared to, to helium, the good and the bad. But you can't say that this is taking a very deep dive from where it was. I'm canceling it. There's no more waiting on arrival. I can go ahead and delete that out. And I'll, I'll still update it because I know a lot of you are going to update it. I know there's going to be people upset with me with the way I'm talking about it, but I'm just being honest. Could be wrong, but likely not on this one. Bit Harvest. Bit Harvest is still moving along. They got some new projects coming out. I saw them talking about that earlier. Um, some things going on behind the scenes. They had a wing bits update. They had a couple people who complained um, about the wing bits thing. They looked into it. They found a little bug in it. They fixed it. Sent in, sending out a new update on it. So that's Bit Harvest. I'm still supporting those guys. I still have five or six devices running it. And I don't have any issues at all with mine. Fry and grass. I don't, I'm not going to go deep into these because this, this has went too long. But y'all know my feelings on fry also, basically. I, same feeling I got about Hive Mapper, yet I, I didn't buy any. People thought there's going to be this great influx in price action when they started allowing um, devices to get confirmed or whatever it was. And as you can see, it's down 13% since our last video, down 31% for the month. I, I mean, I don't know a lot about the project, I never joined the project. This right here is not good at all. Rank 9,000. I've always, I've always been concerned with some of the shenanigans that went on with this project. Changing their mind, supposed to be doing it this way, changing it. I, I'm reading through this for the first time right now, and I'm shaking my head. There's a lot of upset people. They, they've been waiting for a long time to get their stuff verified. Apparently, now there's a verified cutoff time. These, these people have been waiting for probably a year to get verified. I don't know if there was a cutoff or something that happened. 
I, I don't know. Y'all, y'all, y'all can have it. As far as grass is concerned, I have to give it to him. I was very down on grass. You can see it's the last thing on this line on these lines, and for a long time there was not a peep. This this Discord was disgusting. It was like the wild wild west, and there was nothing going on. It has gotten a lot more active from the team, a lot more um, seminars that are going on, and spaces and just stuff like that. So they seem to be a lot more active. And uh, there's nothing in the announcements about TGE or anything like that. There was something a while back about making sure you do have a Solana wallet. I did a short on it. I did a video on it to try to make sure everybody knows before the cutoff date, you had to have some type of Solana wallet attached. So you have to make sure your Solana wallet is attached before Sunday, Mon September, I mean, Monday, September 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So that's actually as we speak. So if you didn't do this yet, you missed out on having that attached for your airdrop. You know, I don't, I don't know what else is going up, going on with it, but I'd like to tell you, there's a lot of people in this project, a lot of people in this project. And if something happens to it, but we'll see. Y'all know how my feelings are with grass. That's why I like BitHarvest so much. I can run grass on the BitHarvest devices. They're on different networks. And that I am running grass on those projects. I think I have an old laptop that might be still running. I don't even check it. I don't check the dashboard. I, I could be frozen for all I know. I have a old laptop on a network that is running grass as the desktop. So I could, I could see what that looked like. And then my four or five BitHarvest devices are all running grass also. I'm accumulating. What am I accumulating? I haven't looked. I didn't even look for this for this video. Um, it is what it is. All right, I have three projects I'm I'm looking into right now. Again, I've been so busy with all this other stuff. I have not had. I know I've been promising this for a while now. Um, but there are three projects. I did a video on the first two, kind of all together on Saturday, my driving video, and that is. SkyX and Nubula. Both of these are weather deep pin projects. My question is, how many weather deep pin projects do we need? Now, there's some people who already bought into SkyX, paid deposits on stuff, it ain't came in yet. And as you saw a little bit in that Discord I shared earlier, there, there's all kinds of stuff going on about SkyX being popping off of somebody. I didn't even, I just saw it just now when I looked into it. Nubla is supposed to be attached to a lot more people, people in the game, people in weather, and more successful. I still say the thing you got to worry about is, is when people like us are giving them the data, how can people buy that data and reliably know it's going to continue to come in? Because as soon as my weather XM device breaks for good up there, I'm not buying another one. And I'm the only weather XM station between New Orleans and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So you get what I'm saying is that, is that how are they going to reliably, you know, yes, they can, if they just need to know what the temperature is during a, you know, week during the day, yeah, I guess they can sell that to them. They can also get that from free weather stations. I, I don't know. I just don't know how much. And, and it, that all boils to another question, which I'm making this video way too long is, is, how much do you stay into a project where it's still worthwhile? If your 30 cent station goes down that you're making 30 cents a day, how much effort are you putting into keeping that in? Are we joining deep pin projects just to say, hey, we're in some more deep pin projects? Or are we doing this for passive income? Keywords income. And I know I talk about this every Saturday, uh, every Monday, and on some of my other videos on Saturdays and stuff like that too. But Yes, we need to have a loyalty to a project to a point, but at what point do we say enough's enough or do we continue with it? That's, that's always been the crypto game, if that's, if that's the word to use. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling. I don't want to ramble because I ain't got too much time. Another one I'm looking into is Honor Um, I've had a lot of people on my Thursday lives ask me about Honor Core. I already got a GeoNet station set up. I'm trying to find some information about it. I'm getting some, I'm just getting all kind of different 
answers on it. Somebody told me I could set my own Onacore device up and I'm seeing online that that's incorrect and you have to buy another device to, in a splitter. So one video I saw said the splitter is $150 on top of whatever you buy for the Onacore device. Onacore has been out for a while now, I think. Is, is, is that late? I haven't looked into all that, but that is the three things I'm looking into. Well, this video went, and I figured it was gonna go long, and I didn't even get that deep into some projects that I really want to get, you know, that deep, that I wanted to get deeper in. Um, hard mapper, honey, I, I kind of just feel like I'm missing the explanation of how I really feel, but I am exhausted. It's been a long, it's been a long weekend, doing a lot of house cleaning right now, pressure washing and stuff, getting ready for my son's 18 year old, 18 year birthday next weekend. Um, if we don't get this other hurricane. And that's emotional enough for me. I'm very, very close with my kids. And I can remember the day he was born. I mentioned this in the other video I just did Saturday. But it's it's not a joke for anybody who is about to have kids or his wife working on it or just getting married. And when I tell you every priority, I'll never forget the day he was born. I had a friend tell me like it was yesterday. I can't remember what I ate for dinner yesterday, but I can tell you what my buddy told me 18 years ago. You, you're going to get a new set of complete emotions and you wish you could bottle that up and hold on to it forever because it's just completely different. As a man, your priorities now change in life that you're, instead of your priority being yourself, is there is a new human being that you will go to the ends of the earth for. Then you have a daughter and you realize that, I didn't realize I was signing up for a second mother and second wife because my 17 year old daughter basically rules me. <laughs> That's just the truth. But I'm exhausted just dealing with all this house cleaning, pressure washing and all the stuff like that I've been doing at the house. Um, it's, it's, like I said, there's some projects I wish I could have got deeper into. And I would, I'm trying to do more content specific stuff during the week so I can discuss some of those things. You know, there's some projects that we, there's not a lot of updates going on because they're on mainnet. Like, like GeoNet, other than their, other than their partnership with WeatherX, I mean, I'm sorry, with WingBits, there's not a lot to discuss, but it's still a good project going on, making some great rewards from people. I know people telling me, hey, I'm still buying devices and that kind of stuff like that. You know, WeatherXM, for $1.50 a day is still more than I thought, and it would probably be a little bit more if I would take care of some of these problems. But compared to what a lot of these parties are doing right now, you know, dollar fifty two dollars a day for weather exam, not that bad. You know, sixty dollars a month. Some of these other ones, you can't say that. There's a lot of projects coming out there. I'm following, trying to follow a lot of YouTubers and stuff like that. I, I just, I don't want to say negative, not negative, but my negative, my, my fellow YouTubers, they do a way better job than I do. But there's some of them that you're watching the video, they talk about this, and you're like, you're clearly being paid or something because project's not that good like what, what's to give is it just so you can give out your your code and that kind of stuff like that you know I, i'll be frank with y'all hey y'all want demo and, and demo is a great project because it's so easy i will tell you that that's the positive i can plug it into my wife's vehicle my son's vehicle i make sure it's updated once every month or whatever like that nobody has to touch it it works off my helium devices i have in town that's great you want one I have a code for it. I'm telling you. But if one of them breaks, I'm not replacing it. I'm making 45 cents a day on each one. That's crud. I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with the whole project and stuff like that. But hey, if you want to buy one, have a code. At least see me, I, me, I can be honest. I'm not going to sit and tell you like, look at this demo device. It's the greatest thing in the world. This new device being released and it's going to make you all kinds of money. Use my code. That's not me. That's not what you can come to this channel for. I'm going to be honest. That's why people don't, some people don't like me. That's why some people make ugly comments in my Discord. I mean, in my, in my comments below. At least y'all know I'm being honest with you. Y'all know that if I'm wrong and all of a sudden Hard Mapper ends up start making all kinds of money, I can come on here and say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm eating crow. I was wrong. And that, that's what it is. And I'm, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do when I make 20,000 subscribers. <laughs> And I got to figure out how I'm going to do giveaways and stuff like that. But, hey, look, it ain't going to be thousands of dollars or nothing like that. But, again, it's not going to be $2 worth of, of Solana like I did before either. So, 
it, it'll be something and yeah some of it be hats and more shirts if if my person lets me do that kind of stuff like that um but i don't know we'll see it ain't gonna be nothing crazy again it's only twenty thousand. i'm not making nothing but two dollars a video off of youtube or nothing like that i'm not sponsored by nobody so everything that i give out is coming out of my pocket but i still feel like i have to do something for y'all so i don't know what it's going to be i don't have a lot to give away but i am going to do something at twenty thousand. you know we'll see i'm hoping it takes another month to get there but the way it's been looking not really i ramble long enough i'm tired i gotta go edit this whole thing and then still go home but Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for all the new subscribers and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.